Uh, Tory aides told some political editors yesterday that a Labour campaigner had been had punched an aide of the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock. Uh, that wasn't true. No. Have misleading statements become the norm in politics well, in I this election? Well I, well, I, <laughs> well, I hope, well, I hope not. I hope not. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of sort of, um, you know, uh, you know, people spin doctors spin things, and there's and there's a lot of. Um, you know, banter goes on. I mean, I, I mean, I'll give you an example. No, I, was I, I, to... I just want you to, to, to respond to that particular incident. Well, I mean, there shouldn't be lying going on. There shouldn't be lying going on. But let me just give you a quick example. I was having a bit of banter with a, a Tory friend of mine. I thought, at least I thought he was a friend. A uh, Tory activist called Greg Barker. Having a bit of banter with him because he was saying, oh, the Tories are going to lose. And I was like saying, say, no, you're going to be fine. You know, joshing as an old friend's do. He's only gone and leaked it all to a website. And he's put me and he's selectively leaked it. Uh, and I thought he was a friend, Greg Barker. But um, obviously he's not. Right, well, let's just tell our audience what that's about. Conservative supporting website Guido Fawkes has yeah. got hold of what they say is a secret recording. It's a phone call of you talking to a Conservative supporting friend. I know, I mean... Hang on, let, let yeah. me just tell the audience, in which you appear to say there's no way Labour can win. The situation out there for Labour is dire. I mean, that must be your view if you said it to a friend. No, 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 because he's saying to me, saying to me, oh, the Tories, the Tories at head office are saying that you're narrowing, you're going to win. So it's a bit of joshing. I'm trying to say to him, don't worry, yeah, because he's an activist. And I'm kind of sort of, you know, it's a bit like when... Um, you know, you, you, you know, you're saying to your mate who's a sort of fan of a rival foot, 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 football team, oh, you know, don't don't worry, your team, your team's going to be. You're, you're trying to sort of unnecessarily boost their, uh, 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 their their ego and make them become complacent. And of course, he's now le leaked it all. He's another friend. I went to America with this guy. We went on a trip to America you together about 15 once. years ago. He leaked it all. I can't more, believe it. You said more than once to him the situation for Labour is dire. I know because he's also saying, oh, Jeremy Corbyn's going to win. So it's a bit of it's joshing around. And he's leaked it. I can't believe it. I mean, we're supposed to be mates and we're supposed to be winding each other up and teasing each other. Uh, uh, at one point, I call him a nervous Nelly. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, this is a mate I spent three weeks around with going around America and he's leaked it all. It's pretty. Obviously, not, I'm not going to go for a drink with him again. Or, and you seem or, or to say I. that Boris Johnson will have to F it up in the last week not to win. I mean, this. Be honest, Jonathan Ashworth. You go on about honesty. You don't want misleading statements in this election. If you're saying this to a mate, you mean it. Because he's saying to me, Jamie Corbyn's going to win, and I'm trying to, like, wind up Well, maybe he back. meant it. If you no, say... If I'm, you, winding, if, I'm winding a mate up. Well, hang on a minute. You said, you seem to say, because I've got the transcript, Boris Johnson will have to F it up not to win. Because he's saying Jamie Corbyn's going to win, and I'm trying to sort of make did you him say, be complacent. Sorry, did you he's say... A did you, I'm did you, trying to make him be complacent. Did you say that? Did you say that well, to him? Of course him? I said it, but I'm winding him up. I'm, I'm joshing with him. It's banter. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saddened that a friend who I spent three weeks going around America with about 15 years ago has um, done that because he's a Tory activist. And look, it's banter, it's joshing across okay. was this Was it. this banter? You also said the party effed it up when they chose Corbyn. But he's Failed saying, to get rid of him. We're sorry. having banter with each other. Sorry, was, we're joking so you around. didn't mean that either? We're joking around. No, I don't mean it. I don't mean it because I'm joking around with my mate because oh, he's a Tory he's a, and he's saying things like, oh, well, he's saying things like the Tories think the CCHQ the Tories think we're gonna, it's getting closer. And, and, and look, if you leak it uh, uh, to Guido Fawkes, of course it looks, makes me look like a right plonker. But it's not what I mean when I'm winding up a, I'm winding up a friend, trying to sort of, you know, I'm trying to sort of, you know, pull his leg a bit, uh, you know, as it were. So hang on, let's be clear. When you said the party effed it up when they failed to get rid of Corbyn, you didn't mean that either. No, I'm pulling his leg because he's okay. saying stuff to me, saying, why don't you get rid of him? And do, you I think say, Jeremy you know, do you think Jeremy Corbyn is a threat to national security? No, of course I don't. Of course I don't. And he makes this ridiculous well? comment to me about... I mean, I can't tell what you mean and don't mean anymore. Well, I'm joshing around with somebody who I thought was an old friend who's now leaked it to Guido Fawkes, an old friend who I, um, as I say, I've known for many years. He's a Tory and we've always had a bit of banter together. I never expect him to do that, but I... I uh, you know, I'm winding him up, I'm teasing him. He's been winding me up, saying, oh, everyone at CCHQ thinks it's going to be really close, it's going to be... Corbyn's going to win, and all this sort of stuff. And we're joshing around with each okay. other. But he's, ob he's obviously is in a panic, because he thinks the Labour Party is going to win, which is why he's, he's leaked our jokey conversation. Oh, it's you, a shame, because I say he's an, I thought he was a friend. He's clearly not a friend. Greg, uh, Greg uh, Baker, was a Tory activist, was the former chair... Canterbury Conservative Association okay. and used to work for Tory shadow ministers. A couple more final friend, questions, if I may. It's a shame, really. If it's a shame, isn't it, when a friend does that to you? If the Conservatives win more seats than you, what do you expect to happen within the Labour Party? We're going to win this general election, and we're going to win this general election to safeguard our NHS, to stop the cuts to our health and care services, to stop the bed cuts, and to stop the crisis in our A&E department. And if you don't win it, how soon would you expect Jeremy Corbyn to resign? We are going to win. We're going to win this general election because because people are fed up of the Tory cuts to the NHS and they're fed up of the waiting list growing higher and higher. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. Thank you. Shadow